Hey guys, this video is all about how to grow the sunflower from the seeds. In the same video, I am going to cover everything from sowing seeds to transplanting and finally you are going to see the blooms on my sunflower plant. Also please note that I am going to give you an update of more than 180 days. That means you are going to see the updates of more than 6 months. So let's begin the procedure. Right here I have few seeds of sunflower from my previous years of plant. Please note that I did not store the seeds the right way and I know that I am going to get less germination rate. Anyway, let's sow the seeds and let's see how that thing goes. To sow the seeds, I am using 80% of cocoa peat and rest 20% of family compost. At the time of sowing the seeds, if possible, please try to keep a gap in between two seeds so that later you can transplant the seedlings much easier way. Sowing is done and next please cover the seeds with the same potting soil mix and please note that they should be minimum 5 mm inside the soil. Next I am watering it and then I am going to keep the pot in a place where it's going to get whole day of sunlight. Anyway now you can just keep on watching the update from today and you can see at the time of transplanting the seedlings. Like I said before, I got only 3 seedlings out of all those seeds. Unfortunately, I managed to kill 2 seedlings and finally I have only 1 seedling remaining with me. Actually what I did was I was waiting to transplant them and they just could not survive. Anyway, let's transplant this seedling and hopefully it's going to grow well in coming few days. For my new potting soil mix, I am taking 60% of normal garden soil and 40% of farm compost. For the pot, I am going to use a 10 inch of container and please note that if you are growing the drop variety of sunflower, then you can definitely use smaller container but if you are using the taller variety, then please try to use minimum 10 inch of container. Now please follow me and I am just going to transplant the seedling. Just after transplanting the seedling, please water thoroughly. Next, I am going to keep the pot on terrace and there it's going to get whole day of sunlight. While growing sunflower, please try to provide them minimum 4 to 5 hours of direct sunlight. However, it's go it's, it would be much better if you can provide them whole day of sunlight. 
So I would say that my plant is growing really very well. To be honestly saying, I was not at all expecting that it's going to grow like this way. But I am glad that it's growing well and that's why I would say it's really very important to prepare a good potting soil mix. You can see that there are some portulaca plants in the same container and I planted few cuttings just to prevent the weeds from growing. Now we can definitely do it because portulaca don't have two deep root system. Anyway, I already have a detailed video on portulaca plants as well and if you are interested then please check it out. Okay, now let's talk about fertilizing our sunflower plant. Please try to fertilize your plant at least once in 25 or once in 30 days. For my sunflower plants, I use just NPK 191919. To use that, you can take half teaspoon. Well, honestly saying it was a bit more than half teaspoon. You don't have to worry, you can definitely use it. Then mix the fertilizer in 1 liter water and then directly apply on the soil. This is the only fertilizer that I use for my sunflower plants and trust me, you don't need any other fertilizer if you use just normal NPK. However, if you don't want to use any kind of chemical fertilizers, then definitely you can use either vermicompost or compost cow dung powder and for that you can apply 50 to 70 grams once in 25 to 30 days. Almost everything is done and now please enjoy the blooms and also take a look at how my plant is growing over time.